Hey all, just in hindsight, little uh, lightning wiring thing that I've got going on here, see if it'll work. So it's a stock engine harness, batch fire, where all eight injectors are fired four at a time. And I wanna go sequential with the new setup and I got looking and instead of rewiring the whole thing and or adding six wires for the other six injectors, I'm not going to use canister purge, either one of the air, the EGR, or the EVP. So that right there is five of the six wires that I would need to add. And they're all right here. Here they are. So they're already up to here. They're from the 60 pin connector through the connector 101, which I don't know, which is at the end of that, up to close to the injectors. So I'm gonna dismantle this thing identify each one of them, see where I need to go. If I have to extend a couple to the other side, that's a lot less work than completely adding wires. So at any rate, we'll uh, skip through some of it, but like here's one of them right there. I've already taken out of the, out of the harness. So it's brown with a green stripe, which is brown with a green stripe, 60 pin, Connector 101, which is right there, all the way up to here. So that's one of the fire, in, uh, to fire the injectors. And then all I got to do is move from pin 27. I'd have to look it back up again in the uh, Mega Squirt where to move it to for the, for the pimp uh, shift computer setup. So we're going to work on that. I didn't want to bore you with stripping all everything off of that. So everything's pretty wide open. I've checked everything out and found a few things that uh, I'm kind of glad that I did this because that is not going to stay like that. I'm not sure. That's a nice temporary fix, but that was covered up like it's going to be a permanent fix. And well, we're going to fix that. So for whatever that's worth. So anyhow, the batch fire injection fires four injectors at one time. So there's basically injector one, injector two. So the tan wire is pin 58, injector one. The white wire is pin 59, injector two. Set, second set, whatever, however you want to look at it. So I'm going to leave that one tan, pin 58 will be injector one. This is injector two, but it's tan. So I'm not using pin 31, which is the um, part of the uh, EGR system. 
So I'll move it back to here and repin this and then stick pin 31, which is at the 60 pin connector. I'll move it to 59 and then 59, which is the white one, I will move it to pin 12, which is injector three in the uh, computer that Stinger makes. I'll talk about four here in a minute. Five, I'm going to move 27 to five for injector five. So that'll actually be pin 14. And then these three will go six, seven, and eight. So then I don't have to rewire anything. Move a couple wires around here, move a couple pins at the 60 pin block, and it's done. So injector four on the 5.0 cars, trucks, they had two wires that weren't being used, these two here. So this red and yellow with red is what I'm going to use. Well, it's not in this connector 104 or connector 101, but it is in the male side that's on the truck. And it goes back to pin, uh, what I say? It goes back to pin 23 at the 60 pin. So I'm going to take this out of here. I'm going to put it in here and add a wire and come around to here. And that'll be injector four. So the sequential injection part's done. So while I'm here, some of the other thing that I'm going to do is move the gauge sensor wire. I'm going to extend it over to this side and bring the ECT connector over to this side. And I'll, that's in another video. I had to do that because of the way the fuel rail was. And then fix that. So that goes to the AC, not doing anything there. That goes to the capacitor, not doing anything there. That goes to the uh, distributor, not doing anything there. That used to be the EVAP, we're getting rid of that. Throttle position sensor stays. Idle air control stays. All the air injection stuff is gone. And then re-harness everything or re-convolute uh, it or whatever, something. I'll put something around it, protect it. So easy peasy, that simple, right? 15 seconds, wasn't it? Yeah, maybe a little longer. At any rate, once I get it all wrapped up and swapped around and covered up, We'll uh, see how it works. All right, <clears throat> so here is the wiring installed, cleaned up, covered up, spliced in, ready to go. So there was the ECT that was on this side, and here's the gauge sender that was on that side that I switched because of the heater hose situation wouldn't clear the fuel line. So each one of the injectors is now sequential. Each one has its own firing wire, sense wire coming back to the computer. Still have the IAC, but not all the rest of the plugs that are here that went to the EGR throttle resistance sensor. Engine coolant, or uh, Intake air temperature sender, distributor, fixed the whatever kind of splice that was on the coil. So I did have it plugged in over at the truck and tested the 60 pin here. Had it plugged in to there. And uh, when I, after I moved the wires around, had to drill out a couple of the plastic areas and moved all the pins around to the correct location. And I ohmed everything out and it's all good. I will eventually put power to it and check the ignition or ignition, sorry, the injectors for click, fire, however you want to do it. You can hear them, put your finger on them, and you can hear them uh, actuate. So there we go.